to sit before it. And what he brings up here, you know, enchantments, sorceries, um, astrologers, stargazers, monthly prognosticators. These are all names of various types of people who are involved in like witchcraft, people involved in the astrology. You think of horoscopes, you think of all of this stuff where, where people are trying to ascribe this mystical reason and give you occult type knowledge. And these are the people who are going to be looking into, you know, the, the palm reading and, and everything else that the Bible condemns but try to ascribe extra meanings beyond and give you this extra knowledge and counsel that really just isn't there anyways. I mean, people who are looking to the stars for their, for their guidance and wisdom and, oh, well, you know why this happened is because this star's over here and that star's over there and see everything lined up and there's this vortex over here that, um, you know, everything kind of played together and this actually happened the way it is, is exactly supposed to. And, and you can look at some of the most benign things as, and just ascribe it different purposes and different meanings. And we got to be careful about that because this is how, you know, partially how the Pentecostal church works. They like that mysticism. They like the, the, the show and, and the unknown and trying to get people wrapped up in things that, that, seem mystical and magical and, and have no real explanation, although they do, right? They, the, the, the stuff that goes on at Pentecostal Church has a very good explanation. One, when the people are rolling down on the floor or whatever, they're either demon-possessed or they're faking it. Yeah, amen. And these, these mega preachers that, that have all these healings going on and stuff, they're paid actors. Like, there's an explanation for it. They're trying to deceive you into thinking that these people are actually being healed but they never go into the hospitals and heal people. They never go into, you know, just out in the open and actually heal people. They bring people in to a stadium and that's, you know, somehow maybe that's the only place they get the power of God or whatever, or the holy water that they want to sell you for $100 a bottle, you know, if you just send in your money and, and five easy payments of $19.99, you know, that's the only way you're going you're gonna to get that power too. But they like to use that type of stuff and it's this, this magical element. And part of it can be appealing. You know, people want to believe in, in these things that to have this extra power or whatever or to know extra things or to have the horoscope. Oh, wow, what's going to happen to me tomorrow? I want to get some insight into that. There's, an, there's a natural appeal to that, but the Bible says that those things are wicked. And we need to be careful to allowing that type of thinking just into our own um, doctrine or into our own life when it comes to how we view the way that God works in our life. Now, there are signs given in Scripture. So, what, like, real specifically, just when I talk about seeking a sign, Oftentimes, I think people are just looking for a sign of, well, this is what I should be doing because this happened and this happened, which are good things, so I'm just going to take this path. Or this is showing me that this is the right path to take. Or like, you know, let's say you know, I'm looking for a job, right? Well, I think this is the right job to take because when I walked in the door, the, the sun came out from a cloud and there was this big rainbow that like, you know, lit the way and, and everything just looked perfect, right? And I know it sounds kind of silly, and maybe this example is, I'm just making it up, but you know what I'm talking about. Think about, there's, there's other times, and I think a lot of people are, can be guilty of this from time to time, just in general, of starting to ascribe more reasons of just like, well, I think that, you know, God's trying to tell me something here through these different things when in reality, you're probably just reading more into it. 